Tutorial Simulation Panel This tutorial demonstrates the simulation panel features. The play controls on the simulation panel function the same as the play controls on the bottom toolbar discussed in the simulation environment tutorial. Except for the time duration slider which enables users to control the animation speed. Click the Auto Capture Play button to automatically show events. Moving the slider to the right makes time go faster. Moving the slider to the left makes time slow down. Click the Auto Capture Play button a second time to stop the packet forwarding. Visibility indicates which event is being shown in the topology. Time indicates the time frame when the event occurred relative to the last time the simulation scenario restarted. This indicates the packet's previous location. This indicates the packet's current location. This indicates the packet type. The info box will display detailed information about the selected packet. This feature of Packet Tracer will be covered in the PDU information tutorial. The Reset Simulation button clears the event list and restarts the simulation. Enable constant delay to display constant processing, transmission, and propagation delay. If this option is off, various factors will contribute to the overall delay of the event transmission delay, propagation delay, and the randomly determined process delay. Create a new PDU from PC0 to Server0 and observe how packet forwarding behaves when constant delay is off. In this case, some packets will be in transit, while other packets have already arrived at the devices. Only new packets or fully received packets will have PDU information. Turn constant delay back on. The auto capture indicator shows when the events list halted playing. To display or hide packet visualizations, use the event list filters. 
Click on the Show All None buttons to show and hide all protocols. This list indicates which events will be visible in the simulation. Click on the Edit Filters button to manage specific packet visualizations. There are three tabs showing in the Edit Filters display, one for IPv4 protocols, one for IPv6 protocols, and one for protocols that are shown in both IP versions. The Event List window shows only ICMP packets. However, the other packets are still in the network. They are just not visible. Click here to edit the Access Control List filters. Click the New button to create a new Access Control List filter. ACL statements are entered here. Use the Context Help field as a guide when inputting ACL statements. When the statement is completed, the Context Help text field will show a carriage return. Click the Submit to finish creating the ACL filter. Newly created ACL filters will be displayed in the Visible Events section. They will also be added to this list. Click on Edit ACL Filters again to delete the new ACL filter. Click an ACL filter from the drop-down menu, then click on Delete to remove it. New ACL filter is successfully deleted. This ends the simulation panel tutorial.